In this video, we're going to simply install the Web Tools platform for Eclipse. Going forward, we're going to need our Eclipse easily accessible, so we're going to go ahead and create a shortcut on our desktop to our Eclipse installation. And we won't need to have that open anymore. And we can simply just use this to load up our Eclipse program. And once the platform is loaded, our first project is still there from last time. We don't need to close it or anything. All we need to do for this one is we're going to go to Help, Install New Software. And here we're going to type in WTP. And you'll see that the Web Eclipse Tools Platform Software Repository is brought up. And this is just some additional tools that allow us to do more stuff with Eclipse and Web Tools. And so we may not need most of this throughout the course. We may see some of it later on. So we're going to go ahead and install it anyway because it's a good idea to have it. And it does take a moment for the Web Tools Platform to load up. And so we're going to go ahead and install 3.5.1, which is the newest version. You can only have one version installed. And there's a bunch of stuff that's going to be installed, including some JSF stuff, which we may see later, some other things that may come into play. But these are always just nice little things to have in case we want to do more advanced development down the road. We'll have all of this information available. We can go ahead and accept this as many times as it pops up, hopefully just once or twice. And go ahead and install the software. And this will take a little while, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. And then once the updates have completed, we go ahead and restart Eclipse to make sure the changes take effect. And the WTP Web Tools platform is installed successfully.